presented by Angkas. New day, new fun, new ride adventure. Our Europe expedition continues. This time in the country known for its mountains and ski resorts, Slovenia. Here in Slovenia, I meet the contingents of the Vespa Club of the Philippines. What's your feeling now? Uh, uh, I'm excited. It's a mixed emotion. I'm a bit under the weather. I'm going to hold back a little bit. It's hard to do all the preparation. Yes. But uh, we need to go. There, there were some changes done. Okay. Pero, so, may mga challenges along the oh, way, ha? Oh, oh. uh, unforeseen events na uh, okay. talagang, ano, talagang mangyayari at mangyayari. So, but yan, talagang, right. hey, the show must go on. Uh, it's, uh, it's always a lovely day to ride. Uh, okay. Lalo na siguro kapag yung dito pa sa Europe. Okay. Diba? So, it's a first for all uh, mga best PC. It's a first for the best luck club of the Philippines. Uh, ayos guro ng isa, pero mas maganda yun, magkakasama kayo para okay. and uh, going towards the best for world day. What a short but a great encounter with you, Vespa Club of the Philippines. See you in Hungary. For now, I continue my adventure here in Slovenia. Slovenia, particularly the settlement of Vransko, is one of the bucket list among bike aficionados like me. Because this small town in central Slovenia hosts the world's largest and most diverse collection of motorcycles in the famed Grom Motorcycle Museum. The museum is a private collection which chronicles the development and history of motorcycles. In the exhibit, there are over 140 motorcycles from world-famous makes to the most obscure finds. You can find pioneer pool motorcycles from 1912, but perhaps this is not just an ordinary poo. The oldest poo in the world, original condition, original color, original leather, original rubber. Did, did you restore it? No. Did no, you have to? No, no. As is? You just... It is, so it will be forever. Okay. Uh, so you got this, uh, this motorcycle in this condition? Yeah. Okay. These and, are original papers from the catalog. Mm -hmm. Original, not reproduction. Mm -hmm. These small parts are all, all original uh, parts of uh, different Pooh uh, motorcycles. Pooh is uh, Slovenian. Uh, no, Pooh was Austro-Hungary because we was part of Austro-Hungary to the end of the First World War. Okay. But uh, uh, as a nationality, he was uh, Slovenian. After the war, the, somebody tried mm -hmm. to do Another Slovenian bike. Okay. And this is Pohorts. Poh, okay. Pohorts. This is the, the prototype of this bike. I have the complete bike, but the bike is not assembled because I don't have time. Okay. And this was only one piece made in 1950 as a prototype, but only one, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing else was made here in Slovenia mm -hmm. as motorcycle. Pohor is the name of the Pohor is designer. the name. Pohorje is the name of mountains near Maribor. Okay. Where is Zlata Lisica, golden fuchs, you know, for skiing. Okay. And Pohorts mean uh, bike coming from Pohorje. <laughs> mm -hmm. There are even more motorcycle gems here, such as the ABC from 1919 and from the 20s. Indians as well as what we call the Big Twin Harley-Davidsons. And this 1930s motorcycle gem known as the Area won't be outdone. Besides the variety of motorcycles, special sections of the exhibit are dedicated to displays of rare number plates dated even before the World War II. You can also check out interesting finds like leather and linen clothes, helmets, and other memorabilia. This museum is clearly more than a collection of valuable memorabilia. It is a sanctuary of motorcycle mementos. 
It sometimes happens that you don't realize the value and weight of the journey until it becomes ingrained in your memory. So Paps, what are we waiting for? Let's get it on with the rest of our trip. Next stop, Croatia. We are now at Rovin, a Croatian fishing port on the west coast of the Istrian Peninsula. How would you describe this area? So the area is, uh, it is, uh, I'd say, quite uh, small population-wise. So the whole region is about 200,000 people. Uh, this used to be Italy for uh, during and until the Second World War. So a lot of uh, people from here and uh, from before used to be like a mix, half Italian, half Croatians, and then the Italians uh, left so there was there is still until today a lot of houses uh, left behind uh, the region itself it's one of the most developed regions in uh, in Croatia lots of great scenic views here in Croatia I can definitely see myself jonesing to come back for another ride you can count on it for now I'm going to be a part of something historic the Vespa World Days 2019 but before that, we will do something for Ride PH that will leave our mark here in Croatia. We are in uh, Croatia shooting, filming with the Clutch Moto Tours. <laughs> Let's do the sticker. So we, Ride PH will be leaving its mark here in Croatia. Right, PH. <laughs> this is it. Today's the day. It's the Vespa World Days 2019 in Hungary. And this year, we Filipinos finally have our own representation to this world event. Members of the Vespa Club of the Philippines. Yung pag-attend sa Vespa World Days, maituturing yung bilan isang bucket list ride. Pero ngayon pala, dumadami na rin ang nagkakaroon ng interes sa tinatawag na mototourism o yung pamamasyal sa iba't ibang lugar sakay ng motorsiklo. Kabilang sa mga sentro ngayon ng mototourism ang European countries gaya ng Hungary, Germany at iba pa. Bukod kasi sa mas madaling mag-ikot, kapag nakamotor ka, Makakapunta ka rin sa mga lugar na hindi karaniwang nararating ng mga turista. Highlight din ang makasama ang iba pang mga mahilig din mag-ride. Kaya ang mga travel agencies, tulad ng travel camp, travel and tours, may mga special packages na para sa mga moto tourists. Europe, ito yung best-selling ano natin, destination natin. Why? Because so many Filipinos, so many people, wants to visit, you know, Eiffel Tower. Especially right now, uh, usong-uso yung motorcycle uh, tourism, diba? napakaraming riders ngayon. Sa biyahe ko papuntang Zanka, Hungary, hindi na ako masyadong nahirapan dahil sila na ang nagasikaso ng mga dokumento, gaya ng visa at mga ticket. Detail is here, yes. okay. Kung anong oras ang okay. flight mo, mm -hmm. anong terminal ka dapat nasa yeah, yeah, yeah. airport, okay. and then ano yung itinerary ng flight yeah, mo, okay. terminal ka, yes, yes. So, everything is here. Klaro! Okay. Yeah. Since meron ka kasi ano eh, parang three destinations ka at that time, so you have the three e-tickets mo. Okay. Medyo madetalye ito kasi yung daming transfer, may domestic, yes. international. Oo. So kaya kailangan nandito para at least hindi ka ano, maliligaw. maliligaw. Alam mo kung nasan ka. Kaya kung hindi mo pa nasusubukang sumama sa isang moto tours, panahon na para sumubo ka naman ng kakaibang adventure sa iyong bakasyon.
travel camp, travel tours can really help those people, na mga riders or any of those people na gusto mag-travel, especially in a good destination, on Europe, and yan. So, pwede natin silang tulungan. RIDEH would like to thank Travel Camp, Travel and Tours. RIDEH is being co-presented by Angkas.